My name is John McGinnis, and I'm a professor of law at Northwestern University. Uh, with my uh, co-author Ilya Soman of George Mason University, we've just written a paper on the case of Sosa versus Alvarez Machine and uh, the Alien Tort Claims Act. That's an act that permits suits of uh, people outside the United States against people outside the United States, so it's quite an unusual act. And our um, paper uh, suggests what the limits to that should be. Uh, we look both at the court's decisions and at uh, ideas of political economy to suggest that the uh, act should permit cases only when there's an overwhelming consensus that the uh, international norm uh, should be applicable uh, in the United States. Uh, the reason for that is we think the requirement of universal consensus ensures that these norms will be supported by democratic forces across the world and assure that the norms are beneficent we don't believe that judges can easily fabricate law norms that will be good, and therefore we want to limit uh, judicial discretion in this area of the law. Uh, well, a practical implications are that uh, perhaps permitting uh, lawsuits in this context uh, might interfere with uh, settlements of, uh, that uh, encourage dictators from bad regimes to leave, and those so may keep them in power. Moreover, they may discourage, uh, it's too much judicial discretion, may discourage corporations from develop, working in developing lands and therefore helping the poorest of the poor uh, become wealthier through economic uh, growth.